Another successful mission comes to an end. Now the hard work starts for the engineers on the ground. The tornado crew have flown their route to the letter. Every bit of countryside on the sortie has been photographed by the Raptor, a large pod attached to the tornado. Time for the air crew to hand over to the Raptor engineer. I'll, I'll debrief the NAV to ensure that he's on no problems in the air, uh, to make sure that all the imagery that he needed to collect has, has been collected, and then post that. What I'll do then, if, if there is any problems, we'll get the pod in here straight away, and uh, we'll start we'll start service maintaining it to ensure that we can uh, we can fix any problems that should arise. This is basically a little black box that contains the the cards and the information to hold on. The high-tech pod effectively carries a camera and two data drives. One runs the Raptor pod itself. And the other one is an actual mission disk. This holds all the, all the relevant flight path information and target information that the, that the NAV needs to, to complete his route successfully and get all the required imagery. And crucially, the pictures and information can get back to base within minutes. Um, the pod itself, it, it's, it's got a data link capable. Uh, when it's in the air, it can produce near real-time imagery by data, data linking down to a, a ground station. The images then go back to analysts at the airfield. The removable memory module, this contains all the image data, the, the raw data that's been collected during that flight. Uh, once, once I've got that out, I'll then give it to the tactical imagery intelligence wing guys and they'll get on amongst it and they'll get their good stuff done. Any suspect activity is reported back to the ground troops. It's thanks to this technology and the speed at which it can be gathered that patrols can be given vital information, potentially saving lives. Lorna Ward, Forces News, Kandahar.